some changes. This is a board I've just milled out, or etched out, however you want to call it. I'm going to do a little reveal now, so I've not seen it, other than what the drills blew away, as it's been drilling. So let's, let's have a look. This thing will focus. Let's get a bit of a clean round. This is a board I've done for a friend. And it's for a little device that locks his doors when it goes above a certain speed and it uses a U-Blox GPS module anti hijacking type arrangement and it's just a case of cleaning out all the, all the milling dust did this with a 0.1mm um, engraving tool 30 degree angle 0.075mm cutting depth I overcut because the board ain't always level so and I've not got board levelling yet really good. Up to now um, I've had a couple of attempts, attempts even, and uh, I discovered that the steps were wrong in the settings that came with the machine. The steps per millimetre were set in there at 320 and they should have been 400 so everything was coming down. The wrong scale that for example, that board there was first cut at that size, but now it's back to how it should be, it's cutting at the proper size. And these were the settings that came with the machine that it tells you to import into the software. And it was set 320 millimeters. So the wearer. Look at that. It's not coming out too bad at all. It's not a first attempt, so you know. Just took a few a few practice runs to get something that's decent. Sorry about the camera work. But once you find settings at work, you're golden. Mine's a USB CNC machine from the USB or rather CNC thirty forties from eBay and uh, it's USB controllers as opposed to parallel cable and it's not done a bad job the last step was just running the holes through with a a 1.1 millimeter drill bit it gives just enough for the pins to go through that's not bad oh, wait a minute. that's not bad I uh, sent my friend away the other day with a board based on the wrong steps uh, I wasn't observant enough to notice the board was too small so this is the replacement for it it's nice isolation good track thickness good size pads as well the pads are too small you have to use such a small drill bit they end up milling themselves away or shearing off sometimes the pads do so what we've had to do, we've had to take some of the parts and give them these big oval pads so you, you've got plenty of uh, room for the part to come through or the pin or whatever and then a good area to solder to and that seems to work well and you can edit your own parts in Eagle and make your own library of common parts with oversized pads or different pins or whatever you like that's the uh, camera won't focus properly that's the uh, the last pass it took for the hole for the hole drilling 
and that's the uh, CNC USB software that comes comes with a CNC machine. And that's the Eagle board, or the board in Eagle rather. can't complain at that. Once we get board levelling in the cuts won't have to be as deep. There we go. That's a bit better. I'm quite pleased with that. Yep. Oh god he's cut it out. I've not mastered the process of milling the outer edge along here yet. That's another thing I've got to master. Um, and tool changes as well for drilling different size holes and different size tools for different cutting cutting uh, areas, you know, different width cutters. I say I've had about a dozen attempts at getting everything set up and cutting how I want it, and needing now the end results. So one more thing. That's that. That's this. This is a board I made. And it's just basically a, an interface board. Um, that was a text message. An interface board so I can communicate with this A7 GSM module. And that's uh, basically later on going to end up as a an alarm dialer. So I get a, a text message or a call to say my alarm's gone off. One more look at that, and I've got to go. There we are. I'll do another video um, in the future, a bit more information about the CM C machine um, and settings and everything. Um, but for now, I'll have to call it at that. I'm quite happy. Thank you for watching.